Look closely at this math problem. We've been asked to find the area of this rectangle. But we're not given its width. We're not given its length. Nothing. So what do you think? Is it even possible to solve the problem with this little information? At first glance, it definitely feels like the answer should be no. But stay with me, because with one clever geometric trick, we can solve this whole thing in the blink of an eye. Ready? Let's jump in. Here we have a right triangle with two segments of its sides labeled 12 and 3. And inside this triangle, a red rectangle is trapped with no dimensions provided. Let's define width equals x and length equals y. And the area is xy. Simple enough. If you take a closer look at the figure, you'll notice two right triangles, one green and one yellow. These two triangles hold the key to the entire solution. Why? The rectangle is placed inside a right triangle, and because all of its corners are 90 degrees, its sides naturally become parallel to parts of the larger triangle. And whenever parallel lines show up, matching angles show up too. And that's where the magic starts. So if you look at the first pair of opposite sides of the rectangle, since they're parallel, and the slanted base of the big triangle cuts through both of them, these two red angles must be equal. Now, take a look at the other pair of sides. They're also parallel, and the same slanted line intersects them as well. This gives us another pair of equal angles, this time the yellow ones. Therefore, the green triangle and the yellow triangle are both right triangles whose angles match one to one. So, what does that mean? In geometry, there's a golden rule in triangle similarity. If all three angles of two triangles match pairwise, the triangles are similar. They're not necessarily the same size, but their side ratios are equal. So triangles T1 and T2 are completely similar. And now that we know they're similar, we can write the ratio of their corresponding sides. The side opposite the red angle in T1, or length 12, divided by the side opposite the red angle in T2, or length X, equals the side opposite the yellow angle in T1, or length Y, divided by the side opposite the yellow angle in T2, or length 3. So the ratio becomes 12 over X equals Y over 3. Now we simply cross-multiply. X times Y equals 12 times 3, which gives us xy equals 36. And boom, the area of the rectangle, which is x times y, comes out beautifully. 36 square units. That's it. Just triangle similarity. Nothing more. We didn't need to know the exact values of x or y. The main problem is solved. But now, I have a challenge for you. Do you think it's possible to determine x and y individually? If your answer is yes, what are their values? And if your answer is no, explain why in the comments. If you enjoyed this clever little trick, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our future puzzles and lessons. See you in the next video. Bye.